Hello, we are back and today we're gonna speak about most common fault on a laptop, yeah? Or what you should check first on a dead laptop. So we have a nice Sony Vio here. What do you check first? Obviously, we are checking with the multimeter the charger. Charger. 20 volts yeah so we have 20 volts on the charger okay that's what you check first next plug the charger power up the laptop and the laptop is not working it's making a noise probably you can't hear but it's no picture on the screen nothing green light and now it's off so just think you have a customer what fault you tell him he, that his laptop has yeah what what you'll say what do you think if you have to choose two like two faults what you will choose on this case just try to answer on your head and we'll see if you have right or not yeah one more time Power on, off, on, it's staying on, the hard drive, but it's making a noise, I can hear a noise, it's making like a clicking noise, so what's the problem, what is the problem, what, and look on the LEDs, on the all three LEDs, flickering, so what do you, what he, you think is a problem that's very important like before i'm telling you what do you think is the problem because only on this way you can see if you, you are right or not yeah so we check the charger we check the charger i wish this this like to be a live stream so actually I, you can answer on the chat the problem is the speed from here it's very low so checking the charger one more time 20 volts charger amps charger is a genuine one sony 19.5 it's, it's okay yeah we have voltage but the laptop is not working on a normal case on a normal case when you have a fall like this you look on the customer eye you smile and you say you know what you have a motherboard fault no really no really so actually this is not a customer job this is our laptop and that's our charger this laptop is from uh, the desk behind me and it was working around five years with no problems and uh, i seen the laptop yesterday doing these weird things and i said you know straight away that's a charger issue let's check together so you see it's not enough just to check the voltage so actually have the 19 volts that's not enough minus you know let me let me get another charger you can check with the power supply it will be a little bit harder Le Sony 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 okay so let's check with another charger yeah we have another charger here because many times I seen people on comments say look I have a laptop is restarting is powering off power pouring on powering off power on okay probably the charger is not good really can be this a faulty charger let me grab another one okay let's see this one hmm 
It's very easy can go wrong. Very easy. And actually you think you have a motherboard fault. But your laptop is fine. Let's check the charger. In the charger we have no voltage. Nothing. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, the charger are second hand. Oh, 16. These are all 16 volts. You see, this is another uh, another thing you have to pay attention. 16 volts. You can't check with 16 volts if the laptop is working or not. We need a 19 volts one. Uh huh. And they are looking the same. Look, the same. But this is 19.5, yeah? So let's check with this one. Hmm. Okay, let's check the voltage. <laughs> Probably the laptop just died. And it's not volts. Because the power cable is not plugged. Yeah, it's not, it's not like the other one. This is two pins one. Let's check one more time. And this one is working fine. You see the LEDs and the laptop is on and it's okay. Yeah. So that was the idea. So if I'll try again. Yeah. If I'll try again with the old charger. Yeah, one more time. Checking the charger. Checking the charger. One second. Let's plug the charger. Okay, checking the charger. What I'm doing wrong here? Let me find out exactly the cable. Okay, that's the cable. Here yeah, is the cable. So I will say this is the most common fault. Checking the charger, and you can see on the multimeter we have 20 volts. Sorry, I'm not keeping the the finger here. 20 volts on the charger, this one, yeah. But less. Let me shut down. Now let's check again with this charger. Plug in the charger, power on, look at the LEDs, on off, on off, and now it's off, obviously it's no picture on the screen, it just goes, goes off quickly, on, and it's clicking, 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 I can hear it's clicking. I think the hard drive or the DVD drive is clicking. And it's no picture on the screen. So you see this is another fault. Coming on, no picture on the screen. And I actually think it's something wrong with the screen, something wrong with the motherboard, but it's not. That's why it's very important to test the laptop with a different charger. We never, never check the customer laptop with his charger. Never. Yeah? When we have a customer, we are testing the laptop with our charger. So in that way, 
we know for sure it's not a charger problem. If it's doing the same fault with the customer charger, has the same fault with our charger, so that means it's not a charger. And on that point, you can think further and say, look, you can have a motherboard issue there, yeah? What's the problem with the charger? The problem is not the voltage. We have 19, we have 20 volts there. The problem is the current, yeah? The problem is the current. It's missing current. So probably that uh, charger has around 300 milliamps up to 1 amp max. No, probably not 1 amp. Up to like 800 milliamps. Can be like dry capacitors, but that's not important. The idea is to replicate a fault because we can see on the comments a lot they ask I have a laptop is coming on and goes off I have a laptop is coming on but I have no picture on the screen and it, how you can see here on this case a charger charger fault or if you can check you can check with the power supply check with the power supply even better if you can check with the power supply if not just test with another charger okay I'll stop this video this was meant to be a short one just to show you this because obviously we will uh, we will send this uh, we'll throw it away on the recycle thing yeah but before before I just want to show you it happened on our laptop I'm sure and we found a lot like this kind of fault so pay attention pay attention and checking the voltage it will help you with absolutely nothing actually only voltage on the charger means nothing you, you must have current how you can check the current you can't that's the pro you can theoretical speaking you can uh, use a multimeter connected on a serial mode with the charger which you can't do it anyway maybe if you cut the cable and even if you connect the multimeter you can't see anything you'll see a uh, current jumping up and down but you can't really realize what the problem is the best things the cheapest way check with another charger okay thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you see you on the next one yeah bye